Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to show you a little math trick with the TI-84 Plus calculator, and I'm going to show you how to simplify each of these radicals using it. If you just type in the radical uh, square root of 832 into your TI-84 Plus calculator, you're going to get a decimal. So one thing you can do is use the table feature. So go to y equals top here. Now type in uh, 832. Now when you're doing square roots, you're looking for a pair or a square. We're going to look for a square. So I'm going to divide x uh, squared. I'm going to do these simultaneously, so I'm going to type in this as well. 5,508 divided by x squared. Now what's going to happen is with the table feature, it does 1. So it's going to do 1 squared. So it's going to see what that is. Then x, then 2 squared, 3 squared, etc. So second, and then table. Start from the top. So start from zero. And notice there's four. Uh, it looks like I could still get a four out of that 52. We'll take these one at a time. But notice it's there's nothing more that can go into, there's no square that can go into this number right here. So remember that Y1 was letter A. So letter A, the largest square that goes into that is 8. So that's 8 square root of 13. And then let's look at letter B. We did see a 6, so maybe a multiple of 6. Well, there's 9, too, so that's 68. Keep going, keep going. Stop. Look at 17. All right? See how 17, there's no square that goes into 17? So that must be how you would simplify that second one. So 18 square root of 17. We can actually check this. So second quit. See how I got for that first one 28.8 for whatever. I can type that in 8 square root of 13. The decimal should be the same. It is. Let's do that second one. So second square root is 5,000 508 gives me 74.2 something something something. Let's type in 18 square root of 17. And notice that the decimals are the same. So they do check out. And that's it. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, you can email me at jdmathguy at gmail.com. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right.